The first is for my Valentine's meal. I was trying to rattle my brains to come up with something stunning and delicious. What I've come up with is a simple salad. I've taken all the things that are associated, well most things that are associated with Valentine's in the form of aphrodisiacs. So I'm going to create this simple yet delicious salad where we're not spending too much time in the kitchen. In front of me are my ingredients. I've got some lovely pea shoots, which they class as uh, nature's sort of wedding bouquet. Lovely and sweet. I've got some wild peppery rocket, some asparagus pears, apple, some basil, some strawberries, a vanilla pod, fennel, lemon, and some other basic seasonings. Now to start off with, I'm going to take the fennel. Now I'm just going to trim this up. Now I want to actually reserve the, the greenery, which I'll incorporate into the salad later on. I want to trim this up. And remove the hard core. very carefully with a nice sharp knife. And I'll repeat. Now this simple salad, it's all about the preparation in advance and sort of five minutes before serving, we construct it. So, which allows you plenty of time to get on with other things. So, now what I've got here is a Japanese mandolin. Very dangerous bit of equipment, lethal blade. If you didn't have one of these mandolins, you could use a really good sharp knife with some just slow knife skills and get it as thin as you can. Now I'm gonna take the fennel See if we're on the right section here. Oh, see what I mean? Failing that, another wee trick is perhaps to take a clean dish towel and use, just run it through. I'm just gonna adjust the setting slightly on this. Just a, you know, a couple of mil. And again, just run through the mandolin. Careful of our hands. Now we'll use all the final up. Now at this stage, as I speak, I've got a tray in the freezer. So what we're going to do is we're going to freeze this with a bit of lemon juice pop it into the freezer for a couple of hours and then allow it to defrost. That just makes it a bit more palatable. So I'll finish off the fennel and we'll get it into the freezer. Now the fennel has had two hours of freezing, it's almost now defrosted. Now that's gonna lend a nice palatable touch to our salad and a nice aniseed flavor. So I'll just save that aside for the time being. And I'm gonna get on with the dressing for the salad. For the dressing, I'm going to take, bearing in mind, if you remember the ratios of 3 to 1 of whatever you're using in a dressing, say, say um, 3 cups of oil to 1 cup of vinegar. I know that sounds extreme, but work in smaller quantities. 3 to 1, oil to vinegar, or lemon juice to water. I'm just going to take about 75 ml of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to add a good squeeze of lemon juice in here. I'm just going to freshen everything up. A few tons of freshly burned salt. I want a bit more pepperiness to the salad to go along with the rocket. And just, just a 
about a tablespoon of mirin. We'll give it a quick whisk. And now for the addition of vanilla. You're probably thinking vanilla, savory. <laughs> it's many a time I've actually used vanilla even with fish. It works fantastic with fish. So there's no reason why it couldn't work with our strawberries, which the basil, the incorporation of the basil as well into the strawberries, a classic. So vanilla, savory, works fantastic as well. I've got a lovely plump vanilla pod here. It's sticky, which is a good quality sign. And when you can pay anything up to two pound of vanilla pod, you want quality. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my knife, I'm going to run the point along the whole length of the pod. And when we open it up, we'll see hundreds and thousands of tiny little seeds. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scrape this out and add it to our dressing. Quick whisk in there. The taste. Yeah. The olive oil, the, the lemon juice, the acidity, to the sweetness with the melon, and the vanilla is just starting to come through. I'm going to leave that to infuse. You can do this beforehand as well, plenty of time. Another wee tip with the vanilla pot is, what you can do with the leftovers, um, you can drop it into a bag of caster sugar, leave it for up to a week or longer, and that's going to flavour. Obviously scrape the other half out into the caster sugar as well, or if you can make something else. Pop it into your caster sugar, and you'll have a lovely vanilla flavoured sugar for baking. Or, a bag of granulated sugar, pop it into the sugar, and that'll be lovely with even tea and coffee as well, for the flavour sugar for you. Now for the salad itself. I'm going to start off with the asparagus. So I'm going to take again my mandolin. If you didn't have a mandolin, you could use a good sharp peeler. And I'll just trim the stalks off first of all. Use that for soup. We'll take our asparagus and we'll check the setting first of all on this. Just take it down a wee notch. Okay. Again. Again, bathing in mind our fingers. So I'm just going to take my time on this part and continue with our asparagus. So there is our shaved asparagus, nice and thin. Now it's going to lend a nice earthy flavour and a slightly salty flavour to our salad. So first of all, I'm going to take our salad leaf, our peppery wild rocket, and our sweet pea shoots. I'm just gonna, at this point, toss into the bowl of asparagus. And then move on to some apple. And I'm just gonna take just thin matchsticks of the apple. And we'll just. So we've got small little matchsticks. Just going to add some more crunch to our salad. Maybe one more 
quickly at this stage because we don't want the apple turning black. The end quantities is up to you into our bowl. Now we will take our strawberries. I'm going to very carefully just remove the hull with minimum wastage. I know you can buy little strawberry hullers, but yeah. And we just want to quarter our strawberries. We want to show them off. Well, we're going to show everything off in the salad. Now we'll go in with our fennel. You can see how now it's lovely and defrosted and just slightly more pliable, palatable. So in with our shaved fennel. Beautiful. A scattering of pumpkin seeds. Our fennel frills, which we reserved earlier on, I'm just going to very quickly just give them a little chop, which I'm going to place into our dressing as well. That's going to lend even more of an aniseed taste to it. And now, lastly, some basil. What I want to do is I want to just pick some of the leaves off the basil. And this is going to work fantastic with the strawberries and bring the salad together even more. And it's at this point where you want to do this last thing. Will happen is if we do it too early, the basil becomes black. So, what I'm doing is I'm just taking the basil leaves, piling them on top of each other, I'm going to roll it up, and then take your knife and just thin little strips. And we'll pop that into our salad. How it? Salt tongs. Incorporate everything nice and evenly. You can see the colours, the flavours, and the smell from the salad is just. Even already, the juice from the fennel is starting to dress our salad. And now, the salad dressing itself. That's been infusing now for about 10 minutes. Again, the dressing last thing. Maximum of five minutes before you're gonna serve. I'm gonna reserve some for plating up as well. So one more gentle toss. See all the different textures, tastes. Right. You pop that into the fridge for five minutes before serving. Perfect.